You know these chairs. Drive down any street in America and you're bound to see some. They're called Adirondack chairs. And they actually exist because of tuberculosis? By the late 19th century, tuberculosis was responsible for one in seven deaths worldwide. In 1900, it killed nearly 10,000 people in New York City alone, which caused many New Yorkers to flee upstate to rural sanatoriums. Doctors there believed in the restorative benefits of cold air baths and would prescribe that patients be propped up in chairs outside to absorb the cold air. This led to an entire industry of cure chairs. They were originally Westport chairs, because the inventor was from Westport, New York. But they ultimately took on the name Adirondack after the popularity of the regional sanitariums. By the 1950s, antibiotic treatments had gotten so good that sanitariums weren't really necessary anymore, and most closed their doors. And yet Adirondack chairs remain because of their comfort and their now iconic style. 